hop in. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go get these mounted. in two hours. All right, so we just dropped off the tires and wheels at the shop. They're saying it should take an hour and a half or two hours. So in the meantime, we're gonna go try to get the paint for them so we can paint them. So what color did you choose, Andre? I'm thinking flat black. <laughs> or silver. Is it silver? There's a lot of paint. Yeah, this would be good. Okay, so what I was saying, this, if you pull this, it acts like a kill switch or something, maybe it's like a choke. Let me start it up, I'll show you. You know what? Maybe it messes with your, um, not coils, but your distributor. Maybe it cuts out electricity or shorts it or something. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to... We can take this apart and see what's under there. Okay, so we're gonna see foam the car today. Um, I'm not sure where we will put it. Maybe just in this. Because this, like, usually you'd put in the brake booster vacuum line. But I don't see anything, except maybe this. So we decided not to see foam it like in the neighborhood because it's like residential. And it's probably gonna smoke a lot. So Eugene is over there just driving around. Woo! Anyway, so we're gonna put some sea foam in it. After the car's already warmed up, we're gonna put it, let it sit, and then Start it back up. This is nasty. I mean it'll probably work to put it in, but like maybe we could even just pour it in the car. Mm, I don't know. I read that would work. We can try. Okay. We have to um, do like little portions of it. Yeah, let's try that first. So we're gonna pour it in. Like, we can do a lot. We can pull like half the can, let it sit, just break up all the carbon. And then, see what happens. I'm hoping it like stops dieseling. And then we can actually tune the car up a little bit and like change the timing. I think what people were saying and what I was reading, the carbon gets red and then it, it's not letting the car shut off. It keeps burning the fuel and it's probably running very rich. 
You can maybe try tuning the carb too. Yeah, I just floored it when I was driving here. Yeah. And it doesn't go past like 4,000 RPM. It just kind of feels like crap. <laughs> I mean, it's fun still because it's just like so mechanical and just raw. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, dude. Do that again. Woo! Carbon. <laughs> hey, only one is opening. Is that normal? Oh. No, they're both. It opens up more. Woo! Vape. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, you might hydro lock it, I think. You can't do that. You can, that's the whole point. Hydro. It doesn't hydro lock it. <laughs> okay, well. It does not. Okay. I did not hit her. I did not. I, well, I don't know that much about that, so. This breaks up the carbon. Oh my gosh. Too much, man. Okay, let's let it sit for a bit. <laughs> Fix it. Still needs a little more seafoam, maybe. Hey, what if you try turning it off with the switch? Really? That's with the switch? Interesting. I guess just turn it off and floor it. Key off. Solid <laughs> method, man. How you do it? Still smoking a lot. Sea foaming, so we're gonna go back and like try tuning up the car a little bit. Jen is driving the Miata. This thing's so smooth. 
Andre's dragging some kind of branch behind his car. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Andre, did you bring firewood with you? No. <laughs> this got stuck. Where did that come from? I don't know, you were turning around. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna try adjusting the timing like manually. It says the ignition timing very sensitive. Okay, warm up the car, loosen the distributor clamp while running the car off just off idle. Turn the distributor until engine is at smoothest. First step, warm up the car. It's warm. And it said about five foot pounds of torque. Yeah, it's pretty loose. Okay, next, start the car. All right, let's, let's do it. it. Oh, it does rotate. Okay. Your car, bro. That's probably the wheels. Hello? Hello, this is Chairman Gig Harbor Transmission. Transmission. <clears throat> this Eugene? Yes, this is. Hey, I got them all mounted up, but I can't balance them because like, somebody glued them center caps in. Alright, when should we stop by to pick them up? They're all mounted up now, but I just got to balance them at this point. Okay, so if we stop by in like 30 so, minutes, would that be fine? Yeah, about 20 minutes should be just fine. Awesome, sounds great. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye-bye. Pretty good. The wheels are all mounted up. Yeah, they're decent. And the center caps are here. They're glued, in, glued in center caps. Alright guys, that's all we have for today. We don't have time to mount the wheels, but we'll do that next time. Mm -hmm.